Hey guys, today we're walking around a Plaza Villa in Lima, Peru. We're gonna show you some grocery terms, produce and other stuff. So hang out with us and learn some Spanish. This is the orange. Um, we call it naranjas. Like in English, uh, uh, the fruit is like the color, orange, orange, naranja, naranja. So in, in, in Peru we say, um, no pasa naranjas. Like it doesn't happen uh, orange. <laughs> Uh, when there's no happening, nothing in a place. No pasa naranjas, naranjas, no se say naranja. There's no thing, there's not happen nothing. <laughs> this one is the sweet potato. We call it camote. Uh, we have the, uh, the orange one and we have the purple one. Uh, we use it a lot with, with ceviche. It's so good. Um, and well, the name is sweet potato. We have a lot of kind of potatoes, but we call it this camote. So you have in potatoes like um, this one is uh, the yungay, la papa blanca yungay. Um, I love the, the name because it's so, um, I don't know, from the Sierra name, the uh, Sierra name. This one, the papa blanca. You have all the, also the little ones that you call it uh, from cocktail, papita cocktail. And you use it a lot, I don't know, in a, in a party with huancaina, with some sauces. Uh, you have the papa guayro. Uh, white potato. Um, it's uh, like more um, for a smashed potato, it's good. This one is la peruanita or papa canchan. And we can use it this uh, in fries also. In fries, the yellow uh, potato and the, peru the peruanito, la papa canchan, gets so good. And this one is la papa andina, that is like, looks like black. You can see black. This is a pink one. The other uh, white one. We have a lot of kind of, of potato. We love it also. The avocado. We say it palta, and we have this uh, word game. Uh, we say like, "Uy no, qué palta!" Like, oh, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. So we play with the, with the word of the palta, and it's avocado, avocado palta. <laughs> this is tomatoes, los tomates. Um, we, uh, we use uh, like two kinds. This one that you can use it in the stew, in the kitchen, in the salad. And there's other one I can see it here that is like Italian tomato. It's uh, more, um, a little one, a little one, that it's better in, in, in Italian sauces. This one is a granavilla. It's funny to eat it because when you cut it in a half, you have this, um, like um it, it looks really like gassy, a slime but it tastes so good yes, yeah it's, slimy. It's, it's like a slimy yes and it's so sweet it's so good but uh well the name is granadilla and with the bananas we have a lot of kinds uh we have a we say it platano to the bananas uh and we have like island bananas uh, platano de la isla that is orange inside you have uh, platano de seda, the, the, the regular banana that is white inside and you use it like, um, in fruit salad or for it, it a regular. We have this one. We say it platanitos <laughs> or platano de dedito, dedito de platano is, is not, or bizcocho, platano bizcocho like a, a, a biscuit a banana, something like that. It's sweeter. Sometimes this, uh, we have one that is like a platano manzano, that is like a banana and manzana in the same uh, tree and tastes a little funny. And also we have this one, and we say it platano bellaco, <laughs> and we fry this one. You can use it like um, maduro when uh, uh, is it, um, more like in this color or green one. The Maduro use, use it in este platano frito uh, that goes with arroz cubano that is like Cuban rice. That is the rice, uh, a fried egg, and this, uh, this banana, this platano frito. And the green one, you can use it to make patacones. That is like this smash and fried, and it's so good with cheese. It's and here are the onions, the onions, la cebolla. Um, we prefer this one that is the red onion, la cebolla roja, because I have more taste than the, the white one. 
This is the white onion, la cebolla blanca. Um, we prefer to use it maybe in Italian sauce, like uh, pesto, bolognese, have more, uh, a taste, uh, a sweeter taste. But this one, you can use it better in foods like ají de gallina, for a ceviche, because uh, the taste is more, um, have more flavor. Is it, um, and, and, and it makes you cry more than this one also. <laughs> Well, this, this is the corn. We have a white one kind. We don't have the yellow uh, corn here. Uh, we use it um, in, in a lot of dishes. Um, and this one is the purple corn. And we use it to make the chicha. That is a, uh, something big here for a drink. And if the chicha, the drink is chicha, you uh, put it with some chuño, you can make a uh, mazamorra. That is a dessert that is a uh, tastes really good here. So what are the names of them? Oh, uh, this is maíz morado. So, uh, maíz morado para la chicha in la mazamorra. And this one is a choclo. You say choclo. I, I, I love to say choclo. <laughs> <laughs> and, and everyone loves the choclo. I don't know, with, with a lot of things in the dishes, with mayonnaise. Uh, we have a, a, a plate here that it only use the, uh, the, the corn, el choclo, la papa, y queso. And, and that is all, uh, choclo, papi, queso. And it tastes so good. <laughs> really here, the food is... Um, this is the green beans, the al albergita. Um, we use it in, in, in like in the stews. Um, and here you have the yuca. When you pick it, you, you need to uh, pick um, a younger one because it tastes better. And so you have to like cut it here in the half and see that it's not uh, so dry. But the, the yuca in, in a lot of dishes, it's, it's so good too. To. And the name is funny. <laughs> Albergita. Yeah. Sometimes it gets a little funny, but because some people say it albergita and other people say arbergita. And it's like arberja. <laughs> arberja. And Sounds the funny. Ginseng root is called something very. Kion. Rare. We call it ki a kion. And um, I use it a lot for a healthy thing. You can use it in the soup, in a chicken soup, and it tastes good, really. Uh, you can also make a tea with this uh, when you got um, a flu. Uh, um, we make this tea with uh, kion um, and some curcuma, and you get well like, like that. We, we only use the pumpkin, the calabaza, most for Halloween, because we, we like to uh, decorate it. Uh, and put it the faces like you, but uh, in food we don't use it a lot really. We use more uh, the zapallo. It's like a pumpkin, but bigger, and uh, it's a, a, a yellow color inside. Maybe we can look about the, the zapallo near here, but we are near Halloween, so we have the pumpkin, a calabaza here to decorate the houses. Just this is uh, the zapallo, and we use it for the locro, it tastes so good, uh, um, like a zapallo soup also, crema de zapallo. But it, this is bigger than the pumpkins, and it's, uh, it's a yellow one. And we love it. Like I said in the locro, it's so good. It's uh, another of uh, our... If you can imagine, food. those are all slices of it. <laughs> so, so yeah. huge, really. Massive. Sometimes it's like, like this size. <laughs> Oh, this one, we call it oyuko. This one, uh, you can uh, make oyukito uh, or ají de oyuko. With this one, you uh, uh, pull it and you cut it in like um, st uh, sticks, a little sticks, and it tastes so good. The taste is more like, um, um, like earth, the taste, something like that. And, and this is from the Sierra. And it's so funny because uh, this have this this a lot of colors and uh, never you get uh, one like another. It's not the same. It's always like different. I I, I love it. This one is a cucumber. Uh, for us, it's a pepino, and we use it a lot in salads. It's it's better in salads. You can cut it like in 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 a little sizes and rounds. It's so good with uh, lemon. 
Um, here, here is a, a, a amarillo, um, and we use it a lot with the onion, with the red onion, for like a lot of our, our food. A lot of our food is, um, the base is onion and ají amarillo, like an a lot. Habanero pepper. It will be like yellow pepper. We use the carrot in, in a, lot of, a lot of dishes also too. You, can, you say it's zanahoria. <laughs> zanahoria. Yeah. Sometimes uh, they play with the word, you, you say like zanahoria. There's a doctor that, it doesn't say zanahoria, he says sana ahora because it's so healthy. There's a diet that uh, you can drink uh, like five times the juice of the carrots and you get so well. So this doctor call it sana ahora to the zanahoria. It's like a word play. Well, this is the berries. We have the blueberries and this is the Hawaii manto. We love it because you can peel it and put in the cheese table and look like a flower. The taste is so good with chocolate. Uh, and I love the name Hawaii manto. And this one that is the blueberry, uh, we call it arandano. It's so good in, uh, um, in use. Um, um, and we, uh, this last year, we have produced a lot of, of this one, of these blueberries. And where you have the, the la fresa that is so good with uh, juice, we love it with milk juice, with, with uh, um, the strawberry. Oh, and this one, the pitahaya. The pitahaya is, is a, a rare one. You open it and you see like uh, this white um, fruit with a lot of this, um, Pepas, <laughs> negritas. Uh, tastes good, but if you eat a lot of this, it can take you uh, fast to the bathroom, <laughs> really. So you have to, to eat it uh, with a little precaution. <laughs> and this is like the berries and the eagles. Really, I don't know how to uh, translate this one. Uh, we call it eagle. You can make like a, gel a jelly from this one. Uh, for the picarones, you use the honey with, uh, with lips of ego that tastes so really good. This one is the fish. Um, we say pescado, but when it's in the water, uh, like a living one, you say pez. But when, at, the, at the moment that you get it out of the water, you say pescado. Uh, we use it something like that for uh, someone that is catch in a moment. Ah, te pescaron chicken, we call it pollo. Um, when we make ají de gallina, we say ají de gallina, but it's really ají de pollo because we use the pollo for the, for, for the dish. This is the meat, it's a carne, carne, with a grrr, carne. Um, and you can make a, a roast of this one, and you say it in Spanish, asado. But asado also for us means like you are angry, like, um, I'm, I'm a grumpy, something like that. Que, que asado, que eres? Uh, you're so mad, or something like that. <laughs> Maybe you heard in, in Mexico that the word chorizo is for um, some kind of dish. From here, uh, this one is the chorizo. Have the, the size of a hot dog, and you got this is much um, meat inside, and we have a lot of kinds of chorizo. We have it. We have it like for the parrillada. For for we have uh, with herbs, and we have a black one that we say morcilla. This one, that is not like the same morcilla than Argentina because in Argentina the morcilla is like more uh, funny, a little slime. This one is more um, I don't know more hard. It's tasty. So we love a lot, a lot of, we use a lot of kinds of chorizo with herbs, uh, the traditional, uh, the, um, with uh, uh, white uh, meat. We, we have a lot of kind of chorizo here. <laughs> and it's so tasty. And you can make uh, the choripan. In Argentina, they also make the choripan. Uh, that is the bread with chorizo. And you can put it the, all the sauce that, that you, you want it. It's really tasty here. So the difference of chorizo and hot dog or salchichas is like um, the meat is, um, I don't know, um, maybe with a, a, another kind of meat, it's more like a smash meat inside. Um, that's, uh, that's, 
the the chorizo yes the chorizo is like more this is much uh, meat inside of the um, of this uh, película or, or this case and the the hot dog or the salchichas is like more uh, I don't know like a smash more 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 tight of the meat and the taste is different uh, is the chorizo is more um, more tasty, it's, it's more, I don't know, it's más sabroso. <laughs> <laughs> we have a kind of chorizo, we say salchicha huachana. It's not really this one, but it looks really like this. And we make uh, for a breakfast um, with eggs, um, as with the scrambled eggs, we make some salchicha huachana. And we use it with a, with a bread and make a really, really good sandwich for the breakfast. It's salchicha guachana. It looks like this one. I don't find it though. Or soda or pap, we call it gaseosa. I have a lot of kinds of gaseosa. Our favorite always is our Inca Cola. Uh, most people say that tastes like bubble gum. And this one uh, tastes really close to the, the Inca Cola. But it's like our favorite, this one. Uh, and what's the story with Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola buying it? Uh, Coca-Cola uh, came here, but see that the Peruvian uh, always love more uh, the Inca-Cola than the Coca-Cola, so Coca-Cola have to buy it. And, and now the Inca-Cola have the name Coca-Cola in here. And okay. With the water, we have like uh, the bubbling water, we uh, call it uh, agua mineral con gas. So you have like a lot of these kind of, of waters. And, and you say con gas or sin gas. It's like a bubbling water or, no, or normal water. Uh, but you say it, uh, agua mineral, con gas, sin gas. <laughs> the oil, we say it aceite. This one is el vinagre. And here we have a, a lot of kind of uh, like peppers and we use it a lot in, in a lot of dishes, the huancaina one. It's like a... a, 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 a so these are these dressings? Yes, this one is like for salads. This one is like a dressing, a, a pepper dressing. Like you use it like it was a mayonnaise. A lot of... Uh, and you call all of these salsa? We call it salsas. <laughs> for, for all of the dressing or like peppers, or mayonnaise, we say it's salsa. The funny thing is that there is also this, uh, there's this kind of music that you call it salsa, no? so it's sabroso. <laughs> Rice, arroz. We, we say, we, we pronounce a, a lot with the grr, arroz. <laughs> and here in Peru, we love the rice. We eat uh, rice with everything. Comemos arroz con todo. A, a todo plato viene con arroz. You, you come here to Peru and someone uh, uh, is going to invite you to eat something, there is rice. We, we also have a, a, a dessert with, with rice que, that it calls arroz con leche. Uh, and, and it tastes really good. Uh, and sometimes you use el arroz con leche con la mazamorra and you, we call it clásico. Well, we have uh, this lo, beans, is los frijoles. We also have the lentes, lentejas. Um, lentejas, we use it also to call a person that uh, go really slow. Uh, ¿Qué lenteja quieres? Uh, you're so slow, something like that. <laughs> so, we so, call the frijoles? Uh, the fri los frijoles, vendría, it, it, it comes to be this one, because we have uh, um, Castilla, um, you know, this one is um, Canario, Frijol Canario, pan, Frijol Panamito, Frijol Huascar, Frijol Castilla, Frijol Rojo, we have a lot of frijoles, and it's so, and the taste is different. Is or no, no, this one, it, it gets separate, every, every, everyone has his own name. Uh, this one is trigo, and the the, the tasty uh, el trigo atomico. You make it from here. You have here the T, that is sounds like the, like the letter T. Uh, you have a, a ton of, of kind of this one. Coffee, cafe. We have this uh, kind of um, I don't know instant coffee, uh, cafe instantáneo, uh, that I don't know tastes good.
but um, maybe we prefer a cafe pasado when you put it uh, and, and it goes slowly and get a more uh, flavor in the coffee. This is toilet paper, we call it papel higienico, and this is paper towel, we call it uh, uh, papel de toalla or toalla de papel. And the funny thing about the paper, uh, toilet paper, is that in the pandemic, a lot of people came to the store and started to buy a lot, a lot of, of toilet paper. And we make funny about that because we thought you're going to buy some food, but no, the people was taking a lot of tons of uh, toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this one is the napkins, we call it servilletas. Juices, uh, le we call it jugo. Uh, with a lot of fruit that we love it, like uh, mango, uh, durazno, right? But we also love our chicha and emoliente, and we have it, this kind of presentation that is my favorite, because you have this uh, concentrate chicha, you just put it water, and also the emoliente that is very healthy because we make it uh, from the cebada and cola de caballo. And sometimes when you, you do this uh, from the real uh, plants, it, uh, it's a little medicinal because it's, it's, it's really good for, uh, for, for us. The cakes, we say tortas, uh, but I think in Mexico they call torta to some kind of sandwich. We, can, we, we say torta just for, for the, the sweet ones. You, you can buy a, a whole, uh, uh, toda una torta, a whole of cake, or if you want a slice of cake, you, you have to say it like una porción de torta, like una porción. The apples, uh, you have the red one, the green one, and uh, we love much uh, this one sometimes, uh, the apples in Spanish manzanas. Uh, we make a lot of juice of uh, apples, and we call it agua de loco, or uh, water for the um, a crazy ones, because we think that is so good for your for your brain. <laughs> so we say it agua de loco for the use of uh, apples. <laughs> so excited! Thank you, Mari, for helping us. We learned all sorts of vocab. But Sam's not too sure what he thinks, but we had lots of fun. And again, we were at Las Vegas. In Lima, Peru. Ciao. So, if you want to learn more Spanish, please subscribe to the channel. Si quieres aprender más español, suscríbete al canal. No lo olvides.